okay guys after validation let me try to put all excel data into our table of products in mysql table okay in the last video you check uh, i have finished this validation if i click it it save file look at and it will check a file extension okay now in your function of admin controller we will create loop to detect data and according to insert in your mysql table okay for that first of all we will check if condition our handle variable file open file open and file name is our files its file name is my file i think and its stamp name okay its stamp name and r4 right and one condition more for false and close this bracket here also Under this if condition, we will set this first column, ignore the file, uh, ignore your first row of Excel file, remove first row of Excel file, such as uh, product name. Size, or you can say code. Okay, this line will remove this type of data. We need only under data. Okay. Now start while loop. Create new variable data. Again set. Yes, we the first file, first row of your handle variable okay and we will here uh, typing as array and separate with comma and again we need try to set this not equal to false and close this brackets okay now i will just try to fetch what is the first index of array in our data that's this go to your browser refresh okay i have a error 265 number line okay i think it's false while equal to okay here is error we don't need here bracket closing because we are close the bracket at the end okay open your product file in the desktop here is a product file import uh, let me check what we get oh we get dummy pro 1 dummy pro 2 Okay, uh, let me show with BR. Okay, refresh. Syntax error. Ah, that's a silly mistake. Refresh. Okay, now you can see in your desktop, open your file. And check your data is matching with your output yes it's matching and this line we ignored okay let me open this okay 
now we will put this all data in our mysql table okay mm. close this close this file okay now we will put this all data according to our table columns we need product name code price we are detecting for that okay here first of all you can see our first of all we have a product name product code product info okay nice remove this this was for only testing okay product name is data product or you can do one thing start here your sorry to insert okay products insert Add array. Add browse. Okay, nice. Okay, here, so name it will be the data. This. Okay, copy this. That's nice. Okay, here your product code. Second one, product code. And array index is one, array index is two, three, array index four. Okay, product info and product image. Nice. And product price. That's nice. Okay. okay. Here I will add. Okay. Wait, wait. Get ID. I think we have a get ID. Get ID. Data. Index number is 5. And stock. We will do it, it manually. Our stock will be. And and new arrival geo by default it's not new arrival okay uh, and one more thing we have a uh, let me think uh, special price yeah we have a special price also default zero and created it's your date okay and update that it's also your date uh, for now I'm not inserting any data for that I am keeping it empty we will delete later okay now go to your browser back refresh we will check our program is working or not click on import Okay, I think it's a spelling mistake and our code is cat ID. Uh, let me check in the browser also here is cat ID, right? Refresh. Okay, incorrect date value. Okay, for that 
let me give you my second uh, series from Lara book I have insert for that our date okay and for that I am going to controller of profile controller and will copy carbon function okay I have copied this carbon function for date of now okay load this and here put this for both okay nice so let me browser refresh okay not error that means we have inserted the data successfully check browse okay here is dummy pro 2 dummy pro 1 and is code is price to 45 200 let me check and confirm yeah right okay guys now we can check in front end also uh, but first of all check your products if we have a, this list also yeah as you can see we have product this dummy pro one dummy pro two it's your latest product okay now you can see in the uh, we have a category electronic and automobile because we have inserted one and two randomly you can do with excel file anything now if i go to index and we'll try to open electronic and automobiles category to see this dummy products okay now go to shop click on electronic uh, let me see okay this is dummy pro 1 200 per eyes ah you can check which your excel file dummy pro 1 and price is 200 nice okay now check automobile also oh wait a minute okay automobile is dummy product to 245 price yeah you can see it's correct okay guys see in the next video we will cover more interesting